it's gotten really really dark and all I can hear are crickets I'm gonna give you a little tour of my tent good morning beautiful morning the sun is up today is gonna be the first day ever for me to sleep in a tent i've always seen people sleeping in tents i've always admired them i know it's kind of weird it's definitely gonna be a fun adventure for me to do come with me and let's go and sleep in a tent today basically we are sleeping outside <laughs> Yeah, so I'm gonna show you the items that I've carried in my bag. This is my bag. I have my change of clothes. I have some warm clothes over here. I have my notebook and my pen in case I need to write something. I have my earphones. I've carried my ID. I have a Masai Shuka in case it gets cold. I have some bananas here in case I get hungry. And some four boiled eggs with some salt here i have some tissue i have some toothpaste i have my toothbrush i have some vaseline over here and my microphone i've also decided to carry some three liters of water and a cup for drinking water yeah so let's pack i'm gonna be all alone in the middle of nowhere you know sleeping all alone in the middle of nowhere and knowing how to survive i'm ready i think i'm mentally ready i'm psychologically prepared it's gonna be a fun adventure definitely i'm sure of it i was looking online and i found this place called fish park in nakuru apparently they have uh, both uh, zip lines and tents so that's exactly where i'm going welcome to fish park resort campsite and garden yeah there's a big garden on this side you've passed your destination mama welcome welcome to our destination we've gotten here destination is on the left we've been met by a yeah, a green fence. This is crazy. Welcome to Fish Park. Wash down. Thank you very much. I don't know what's washed down. Wow, this place is actually more beautiful than I expected. It's built like it has cabins and it's green. It has a lot of trees. I like such kind of an environment. It suits me a lot. Akuna fisi. Fisi. Akuna fisi. Mwenye anafanya camping hakuji. Welcome to my camping experience. I think this is meant to be a bigger tent or something. Not sure. There it is. There is my little tent. My little tiny tent. My home for the night. I think we're gonna have fun. There's really nothing much around. This is the whole environment. Assuming this is my house. And like that is the sitting room over there. This is the bonfire. There's gonna be a bonfire here at night. And this is my bedroom. I've never seen a tent before in my life. This is the first time I'm seeing a tent actually. So you can see the height of this tent. It's like half of me. So I'm gonna be sleeping in a place that is half of me. What's the worst that can happen? I'm not really sure. Maybe somebody comes and picks me up from the tent. Or... It rains a lot and it floods, but I don't think that's a possibility because it's been so dry. It hasn't been raining around. It's so dry. You can see the grass. It is so, so, so dry. It hasn't rained in a long time. So I don't know what's the worst that can happen actually me sleeping there. I'm going to feel what other people feel when they are sleeping in a tent. And it's going to give me the courage to sleep in a tent in future when i travel to other places and other countries where there are no places to sleep there are only tents let me get my eggs out 
I might just decide to eat them now because oh my god all the salt in the paper bag there's no salt again and there was salt before it's like the salt went into the bananas yeah there's the salt and there was water here I've come to pick my charger I'm not sure where my charger is I want to go somewhere in there and charge my phone before I give you the night experience and I also want to change my shoes and get more comfortable have a feeling as if I am home because what do you do when you get home you remove your shoes and you get into your comfortable wear so I want to feel as if I'm home I'm not sure if I'm gonna shower this night because I haven't really done much I can choose to shower in the morning after all they say it's a, it's a hot shower there are my shoes I had some cups in here you can go and take some water and I can do some journaling yep and I can get um, my pen Let me put all my belongings in my bedroom. Uh huh. I'm gonna be sleeping with all my belongings. So, this is my bag. <laughs> and water has poured inside my lovely bed. This is my bag. This is my other belongings. Sleeping with all your belongings. Uh huh. And my shoes. Don't know if I should put them inside, but I can just put them here. I don't think anything will happen to them there. And then close it up. I've locked everything safely in my bedroom. <laughs> I can actually eat these eggs. Let me carry the water, my diary, my other water. There is a dog right there. I wonder how it didn't sense my eggs. It didn't smell my eggs. It could have eaten all of my eggs. The washrooms, the bushes. I think people come over here to relax and take whatever they are taking. They are drinks. There is food. Uh -huh, I hope I find my way. So I had been accompanied by my sister to Fish Park Resort. And during the day we had done some zip lining. And here we were discussing how the events went. If you haven't watched that video where we discussed about how the zip lining went, I'll put it in the description box and in the link above. I remember the boiled eggs and the bananas that I had carried earlier? Yep, they came in very handy because we were very hungry after exploring the place and doing some zip lining. They came in very handy. So here we are eating the eggs and the bananas and some water. This is definitely a good snack to give me back all the energy that I have lost from <laughs> all the fear that I had from ziplining earlier on and all the energy that I used to zipline. It wasn't easy but we made it. It was our first time and it was a lot of fun. After taking this snack, I was left all alone in this place ready for the night experience, ready to sleep in my tent. It's gotten really really dark and all I can hear are crickets. There is the water that we were seeing during the day. It's really dark. It's really dark. There is really nothing here. I've decided to go down there to charge my phone from there because I was feeling a little scared all alone up there. It's in the middle of nowhere practically. 
is it just me or are there people who like being alone like just being alone and not being with anybody else at this point in the evening i discovered just how much i love being alone in my own little space undisturbed so being alone gave me a chance to write all my visions and my goals for this year so here i'm writing everything that i'm gonna do to make my life better this year and after that i just sat there thinking about nothing so relaxed and so cool i loved it haha <laughs> did i tell you guys that i was in the company of two young men who just in case hyenas or lions or snakes or whatever appeared to come eat me they would deal with them and so here we were preparing dinner and i decided to cut the vegetables that were from the shamba the knife was very blunt i was trying each and every method that i would to cut them into very small pieces and they were like that's enough in fact those are very very fine pieces of uh, vegetables and <laughs> lo and behold they were deep fried right there with just oil no onions no tomatoes no nothing just the vegetables and the salt but guess what they were very 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 sweet i have never had such sweet skuma wiki in my life they were just deep fried like this with oil and salt and that was it and we made this with some meat and ugali i'm actually the one who made the ugali because it's my my favorite meal so definitely i felt at home taking my favorite meal <laughs> I can confidently say that what I expected to be a very boring night turned out to be a very lively night. Um, these guys can't stay without music, so the kitchen was turned into kind of a nightclub. There was very loud music, which I was also enjoying. Yeah, and this is our dinner being served. Like two pieces of meat each, a lot of soup, a lot of vegetables, and a lot of ugali. I just love myself and my spirit of adventure and the way I can adapt into any environment the way i can blend in anywhere and eat any food as long as it's not metal as long as it's human food that human beings eat i love it i love it i love the spirit of adventure that i have in me nowadays and so for me this was so 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 much fun it was so therapeutic i think it was all that i needed for that night one thing I loved about Fish Park is how much I felt at home. Um, I felt so much at home in this place that I feel I'm, I'm always going to go back there. So you guys, if you need a place to relax, a place out of town, a place in the wilderness where you can just relax and be yourself, have fun on your own, this is the place to be. This place became like my second home anytime I need to relax, anytime I need to get out of town. This is the place to be.
guys i'm headed to the bonfire i'm excited about the bonfire though i've been in the fire for a while but i'm obviously excited about the bonfire right next to my tent is a bonfire Adventure, how to do adventure. Kachilevo <laughs> 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 Unapita <laughs> ile ya kuslide hivi kwa maji. Eh, hiyo ni afadhali jua at least ukifika pale chini kuna hopes. Eh, <laughs> lakini hiyo banji maji at least wow. na kama na ile real inakuwa real. Eh. Eh, si ni kweli. Hiyo katika ni real. Mbaya. Ndioanza sasa ati couples mnafungalishwa kama couples. Hiyo tu ni hiyo kamba ni moja lakini sasa vile couples sana Usijaribu kuuliza mtu. Ah. Eh, hey, unaenda una sign. Wengine wanaandika ngadi will. I would like to take this opportunity to thank these two young men. These guys stayed with me from uh during the day cooking time we together, we ate dinner together, we talked a lot of stories, we had fun together and um Soshi and Bantu if you are watching this, I would like to appreciate you so much. Fish Park will not have been the same without you. You guys made uh, the moment, the time of Fish Park so much more enjoyable. And even after I went to sleep in my tent, I could still hear them outside talking and making sure that I'm safe. Until that time when I was sound asleep, I think that's when they went to sleep also. I just wanted to make sure that I was not feeling afraid or scared. And that I felt comfortable. You know sometimes all we want is to go out there. Most of the times I dream going out there. Being in an island where nobody is uh, disturbing me. And I want to be safe. But these two made me feel safe that night. Ndio <laughs> 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 
Unaenda kuenda kuenda kuenda. Eh. Unapiga nduru hadi unachoka sasa. Itaenda huko. Hata heri yenye kona forest hivyo. Mi maji. Unaona maji? Maji na height. Hizo vitu mbili. Hii na kuanga dio forest. Ni tango the forest. Heri heri hiyo forest. Mi nikishaona maji hivi. Sasa atuelewani tena. Wewe maji unajua maji unaona ku sink. Sasa unajua hapo ni maji combined with height. Hata heri height pekee. Guys, I was not to shower, but on second thought, I've decided to take a bath since it's already late, and I've been feeling warm because of the bonfire. So right now, I'm going to take a bath. That's the bathroom over there, and that's my bathing water since the shower refused to work. Welcome to my humble bedroom. Welcome to my humble abode. And today I want to give you a little tour of where I'm sleeping. I want to give, as people are giving tours of their mansions, I'm going to give you a little tour of my tent. I'm going to begin with um, right here, where you open. This is where you open when you want to go out. You open like that and... There's a bonfire there, you can literally see outside. Yeah, so that is the entrance to my, my tent. And then there is one corner there. And then there is another corner here. Those are my legs. There's one corner there. And there is another corner here where I can literally touch with my hands. And then there is this place up here that lets in air into the tent and then there is me the person inside the tent that's basically it it's a small tent with uh, four corners that I can touch and I do like this I can't extend my arms fully but it's really really warm I am ready to sleep for the night I actually delayed coming in here because I thought I would be scared but actually I'm not scared it's very warm um, this thing looks like a blanket or a Macintosh. It seems very light, but it's actually very, very, very warm. 
yeah maybe it's because i also took precautions and wore my hood my mb graphics hood that i've been slaying with but today i'm sleeping with it and my socks i have been on the bonfire for almost like three to four hours but now i have decided to come and sleep because i'm already here right i'm doing all right i am having fun as it is and i look forward to more adventures like this sleeping in more tents whether bigger or smaller i wouldn't really mind yeah so we're gonna sleep now we are going to bed now i hope i'll be able to sleep for the rest of the night without going out to look for anything or to pee or anything like that or feeling uneasy i want to sleep all the way from now till morning without anything disturbs my peace yeah so good night Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's a beautiful morning. It's a beautiful day. Yep, this is how I look when I wake up in the middle of nowhere, in the forest, and in a tent. But I'm still very sleepy. A beautiful morning wow it's already morning guys and the bonfire went off it went out and i can already see people walking outside the fence so there are already people outside <clears throat> how it feels to wake up in the jungle this is so therapeutic and fun. The material on this tent protects fr from rain and wind. Beautiful morning. 
Good morning, everybody. morning everybody at last i'm awake and you can see where i slept in that little tiny tent and it was warm throughout the night it, i will definitely sleep in this little tiny tent another time and another time and another time it was so much fun so this has been my room for the night my bedroom is so scattered Yesterday it was looking good and neat, but now there are a lot of things inside this grass and more grass and more grass because I woke up in the middle of the night to go to the washroom and I came in with grass. So let me just close it up. Yeah. This was definitely a wonderful experience. Waking up to the sight of birds, and there are so many birds in here. And they are seeing me, and they are all running away. It's like we are disrupting their environment.